Hi friends, so today I'm going to install another Harbor Freight TV mount. Now this is the one that swivels up, down, left, right. It was on sale for $37.99 and um, I'm going to be mounting this TV, which is in my bedroom, on the wall behind here. And I've wanted to mount this for a really long time. So I'm excited to finally get around to doing it because it sometimes seems like these projects just take forever. So first things first, I'm going to roll the TV and the dresser out of the way. Now, the dresser happens to still be on furniture dollies. I put it up on furniture dollies when I was working on the floor and I just never gotten it back down. So it makes it particularly easy to move things out of the way. And I'm just going to unplug whatever I need to unplug in order to move this out of my way. And it turns out there's a bunch of stuff that needs to be unplugged. So, with that out of the way, the next thing I need to do is figure out where are the studs that I'm going to attach to. Because there's a shower on the other side of this wall, and there is plumbing in this wall, so I really need to be careful not to hit it. So the easiest thing to do is to take my wall plate covers off because I know that, that these boxes are attached to a stud. I just don't remember which side they're on, but that's no big deal. This is relatively easy to do. Just undo a couple of screws. You know, that's going to work my hands and not in the right way. So we're going to switch to a screwdriver. So the stud is right here on this one. Oh, this one's really tight. And the stud is right here on this one. And the reason I can tell that is I used adjustable boxes and I can see the adjustment screw here. And it looks like some foam, some spray foam got in here when I insulated this wall. You know, it doesn't collect, conduct electricity. And honestly, it's not an issue until I need to take these plugs out, at which point I'll scrape it out of there. But there's an adjustment screw here, which means I've got one stud here. And there's an adjustment screw here, which means I've got one stud here. And that's enough for me to mount this. Now, I've read through the instructions and there are a couple of different plates that need to be mounted. So let me stop and organize my parts and then I'll come back on and try to save you guys from watching what I call dead air. So I want to talk about what's in the box. There is a fairly extensive package of hardware and it's reasonably well labeled as four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 through 19. Different kinds of hardware for different walls. We're going to stop and figure out what will work best for my wall. <clears throat> There is also a Visa mounting plate for Visa 100 and 200 series TVs, and I'm reasonably confident that this is a Visa 200 series TV. And then if you are mounting a larger TV, they include hardware for Visa 300 and 400 and other odd things where you basically mount the two plates like this, and then you mount um, vertical pieces, and somehow it all attaches to the TV. And then, they have a really heavy duty mounting plate which goes on the wall and, and this is the side that goes on the wall and this is, it'll actually mount like this, probably about right here. I don't think I want my TV way up here and down here feels a little bit better. So I gotta figure out where that'll put it and so I need to do some measuring and, and then as a backup, I have a small collection of 
spark screws, so if I don't like any of those screws, I'll use some of these. And I may use a combination. So let me go get a tape measure. I'm going to stop the, the tape, so I go get a tape measure, and I can figure out if I mount this, where does it put my TV? And it, and it looks like the visa mount on my TV is pretty low. And if that's the case, mounting it down here is actually going to put my TV up above this, and that's exactly where we want it. So let me go get a tape measure. I'll be right back. So I want to take just a moment to talk about how this thing mounts. So this is a Visa 200 plate. It does mount to my Sony TV. Unfortunately, there's an optical connector right in the middle of the um, where the mounting plate goes. So shame on Sony for installing that there, because it looks like you lose the optical connector um, if you install a mounting plate or you have to drill a hole in it. Um, but one of the things that's always interesting is, how do you hang the TV on the mount? And so what Harbor Freight has done, let's see if I can turn this, yep, there you go. You can see there are three studs that are welded to this mounting plate. And so this mounting plate goes on like this, and then these studs hang on um, some holes and a slot in the mounting bracket, so that you can then pull it out and tighten all the bolts and, and have a happy mount. Um, so uh, it's kind of ingenious and you know I don't really expect this sort of quality in a $38 mount. Um, I remember spending several hundred dollars on a mount and it wasn't nearly this easy to install. So um, I have determined that um, this is the right place to mount it and it's going to go 19 inches above so it's going to put the TV in exactly the spot that I want it. Um, you know that's dumb luck. So what I want to do is figure out what bolts I'm going to use and then figure out if I need to pre-drill it and I'm going to get this get this going. So uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll be right back. Alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down a little bit from these plates where I think I can install the bracket and I'm just going to put some little marks to indicate a level spot where I think these two by fours are. And then I'm going to come back here and just sort of indicate level and mark my two by fours. And there's a cross here which won't show up on camera but there's one here and there's one here and those indicate where I'm going to drill the first two holes. Pre-drilling the holes will make it much easier uh, to insert the bolts. I've elected to use some um, bolts that Harbor Freight supplies. Now, I happen to know where the wires are in this wall, so it's not very risky for me to do what I'm doing, but if you didn't build the house or you didn't wire it, you probably shouldn't drill a hole without checking for wires or turning off circuits. It can be pretty exciting if you don't do that. <clears throat> And I should have brought the other tool over here. That would have made this a whole lot easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set one bolt at my foot. Be creative. If I had more than four of these to do, I would go to the trouble to find more powerful tools, but
Okay. <coughs> At that point, I now have this successfully mounted and it will support 130 pounds according to Harbor Freight. I found the screws, they were included in the kit, which is great, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach them to the TV. So I've got this power cable that's in my way. Um, if Sony did design this to have a mount on it, they didn't really think it through. So I'm trying to get, these screws seem a little short, so I am mounting them without washers. And I'm starting all four of them by hand before I tighten anything. And I don't think they're gonna go in very far. But I don't want to cross thread them because there's just, I'm not working with a whole lot here. All right, so now they're in and I'm going to just hit them till they pop. All right, so now the bracket's on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get the TV up off here and I'm gonna find whatever secures it, whatever locks these bolts in, and the next step is to mount it on the wall. So in preparation for mounting this, I've pulled it out from the wall, which is gonna make it way easier for me to get behind here with the washers and the nuts that are gonna secure this TV to this mount on the wall. So, let's do it. Modern TVs don't really weigh very much. But there's still a real risk of dropping them. So you want to be real careful. At least until this first nut is secured, there's a risk of dropping it. And this would be a lot easier with a second person. But like most of my projects, I don't have a second person to help me. So, how does it make do by myself? So, you need to put the top one on first because the TV is going to tilt down. But once the top one is on, you can relax a little bit. And they do include an inexpensive stamped wrench. So you don't even have to go hunt down a wrench, which is really nice. I'd give this an A in terms of value and function for Harbor Freight. Sometimes Harbor Freight products don't turn out quite so well. This one's nice. I mean, don't get me wrong, this would be a lot easier with a ratchet, but it will work with the wrench that's included. All right, that's snug. And these are lock nuts, so there's not even a worry about them coming loose. Let me untangle Alexa here. She doesn't need to be up in this. I think it needs to be tilted just a little bit. Locked in. 
Now I'll do the last side. Okay, so at this point, it's uh, fully in here, and this is the little stamp wrench that comes with it. And there it is. I still need to get this off, so um, it looks like it's screwed in. This won't take but a second. So now we have the TV mounted and uh, that's all there is to it. So I rate this project very successful. I've got a lot of material to recycle. There's a lot of little metal pieces and plastic and some cardboard. But overall, um, I think this took maybe 30 minutes to install um, and I'm real happy with it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide the rest of my stuff back in. So stay tuned, let me just do so I put this back together, I want the power supply up on the wall behind it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount a drywall anchor real quick. And the drywall anchors are just these inexpensive drywall anchors. But I'm gonna mount a couple of these. <coughs> and this will give me a very easy way to secure the power supply to the wall up above the TV mount where it's out of my way. So first things first, I need to figure out where they go. And um, Harbor Freight has very nicely included some mounts. Um, you can't really see them from here, but there's basically wire management clips on the bottom of the arms, which is really quite nice. Like everything else Harbor Freight, they're uh, something on the cheap side. But it's uh, an unexpected bonus. Yeah, I didn't think those were gonna fit. <sighs> so what I'm doing is doubling up my wire ties. because they're, the, they're just not long enough by themselves. So what you're left with is two ears sticking up and that will facilitate mounting. And these uh, wire ties are sold at Home Depot and among other places. Should have picked some up today when I was at Harbor Freight, but it just didn't occur to me. So now I'm just going to use a screw to mark the approximate location because this just doesn't have to be up here really nice. It just has to be up there. And then I'll use this. These are self-drilling. And they go in really easy. Unfortunately, Home Depot um, decided to quit carrying these. Which is a real shame, because they work great. They work better than great.
Okay, so that's in place. Now I need to find the power cord and reconnect it. And I'm gonna go get another zip tie so I can keep this out of the way. Be right back. So, all that stuff is mounted up there and all that's left to do is turn this and button it back up. So let's go ahead and I'll do that. So the TV goes up against the wall and then this comes up against here. A little bit of wire management. And I can't really get it in the corner because I'm buttoned up against some stuff. And it's not really centered, so we're gonna center this as much as we can. All right, so it's still junky, but now the TV is up off here and it's on the wall where I'd like it. And uh, so this is a very successful project. I hope you've enjoyed my video. And again, this is Harbor Freight part number 63155. So again, it's Harbor Freight 63155. And uh, there you have it. That's how you install it on the wall and mount a 42 inch TV to it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.